Senator Mike Dunleavy has tweeted that this year the legislature must cut at least $700 million in actual government spending, real money. Getting to that number isn't going to be easy. Of course, there's three important issues, the budget, the budget, and the budget. We're starting to finally see the budget roll out. You know, the governor said, these are my budget parameters, but we hadn't, there wasn't any details. So those, as those details are being gone through, then the work, the work is beginning. Governor Walker's capital and operating budget of $5.5 billion in undesignated funds is a big drop from the $6.1 billion proposed by Parnell. The undesignated general fund budget includes operations for each state department, covers their debt service and capital spending, and pays for formula programs like education and Medicare. This week, Walker adjusted his proposed budget by taking another $20 million from Medicare funding to advance reform. The state expects to see significant savings from the Medicare expansion, over $6.1 million over multiple departments as the federal government picks up the tab on more health care services. A few years ago, the state capital budget swelled to about $1.3 billion. Walker is proposing $150 million. It isn't the kind of cuts that some legislators were looking for. Although this is his first year in office, Representative Jim Colbert has spent a lot of time in the Capitol as a top aide. He feels the governor's cuts weren't meaningful. What I'm observing with the budget is we're not getting into structural reform of the departments that really needs to be done to lower the cost of government, restructure. It's kind of the peripheral. So if it's a grant to a municipality or an entity not a part of the government structure, if you will, internally, those are the ones that are seem to be getting cut first. Meanwhile, Governor Walker is moving around the money in his proposed budget, taking $6.3 million from roads and highways and giving it to the marine highway system to ensure that the ferries are able to meet scheduled services. Walker has also softened up on some earlier cost-cutting choices. He returned $9.2 million in funding for the Basic Homeless Assistance Program, suggesting removing the funding was an unintended consequence of submitting a bare-bones capital budget. Walker also restored $7 million for community jails. Talking about public safety concerns with what are these cuts going to do to public safety? What happens if we reduce the number of highway patrolmen on the highway? How is that going to impact public safety? The governor's proposed elimination of over 300 state positions, the majority coming from vacancies. Lawmakers are taking a closer look to determine what the effects will be. How many positions are proposed to be cut in your community, for instance, and doing what? Um, you know, what's the impact of those budget cuts? Now is the time that legislators are able to look at budget details and dialogue with department heads and propose changes. The real work is just beginning to realign and restructure government, and that's what we need to do, obviously, to, to get the cost down more manageable. According to committee members, the House will be closing out budget subcommittees next week, and the Senate is expected to call up their budget subcommittees to pick up the action. Reporting in Juneau, I'm Doreen Lorenz.